talking through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I, I want to reassure you, Fastberry Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly gets first concerned that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect 